Uh, hi, I'm Stephen Gothorpe. I'm going to be talking about our project uh, Transparency Tracker, which is a RAG application to let you interact with a large corpus of corruption and anti-corruption resources. So corruption is a major international problem that uh, affects uh, everyone. For example, fun fact, uh, nine out of 10 people that die in an earthquake die uh, due to corruption and uh, malfeasance and in infrastructure projects. And uh, this causes harmful degradation across the world. And uh, as I mentioned, it's, it affects everyone. Accessing the, these resources is uh, quite difficult. For example, in developing countries, there's a lot of literature paywalls that people don't have uh, access to. Um, this precludes people from uh, gathering effective information on how to fight corruption. Um, it's also quite labor intensive. Uh, developing the skill set to be able to find credible information reliably is, is, uh, is very laborious and, and, and challenging. Um, also accessing experts, they're not necessarily at your beck and call, right? So it's difficult to arrange a consultation with people to educate uh, and provide adequate advice to solve this complex problem. And lastly, although there's been, you know, major advancements in generative AI technology, uh, this technology is far too generalized uh, to provide any meaningful value for, for the corruption research community. So, Imagine if you had a solution where you could have broad accessibility for everyone to be able to access important resources, um, find information that's credible, uh, provide a simple UI that's, uh, that's easy for uh, someone to access and start plugging away without having to do complex Boolean uh, logic for, for information retrieval. And imagine something that's efficient that can provide greater information gain than uh, conventional searches. So the transparency tracker application, we attempted to try to uh, resolve some of these issues, provide these solutions by uh, harnessing RAG uh, technology and tapping into a widely extensive corruption research corpus that has been carefully curated by leading international experts. So the recipe for success, we hope, uh, by the end of this presentation, we can show that this is uh, unique. There's no other uh, service that exists like this uh, within this field um, that we hope to find, uh, you know, show that this is accurate. This, you know, can provide information uh, effectively, um, show that this is extremely uh, specialized information um, that can outperform generalized online search and that we can provide uh, a more expansive uh, public inquiry for people to engage and participate in this. So we hope that um, we can accommodate all of this. So where did we get the data from? Well, we uh, used a lot of web scraping to <laughs> uh, access Transparency International, which since 2008, uh, they had a person designated as a help desk where you would send email inquiries asking about uh, what to do to combat corruption in your local jurisdiction or um, what you can do to effectively uh, leverage politicians to, uh, to promote better value in society. And someone would respond through email with all of these inquiries for, for years. And they've gathered up and curated all of these uh, emails and packaged them into a very large online repository. Um, so this has been carefully uh, combed over and curated by international experts around the world, including myself, who specializes uh, in anti-corruption uh, work and research. And we use that as a good uh, data repository be because we feel it can be more effective in a RAG pipeline than just uh, simply downloading thousands of uh, PDFs. So this is the fundamental, fundamental basis for our data. Um, the models that we use for our RAG pipeline are uh, just the vanilla uh, OpenAI chat, you know, 3.5 model, and then uh, the embedding model is just the conventional ADA model that many people are using.
So uh, before I pass it on uh, to my colleague, John, to uh, do the demo, I just wanted to say that uh, basically the user journey for this application is to uh, search the top three relevant documents for a given inquiry, um, ask questions uh, with a lane chain uh, orchestrator in the background to try to um, try to wrangle, uh, you know, LLM hallucination, make sure that it provides uh, adequate uh, question uh, answers to questions, and then we provide the sources for those uh, those questions, and then we have. Uh, a final um, last, you know, last ditch effort to scrutinize answers with an independent evaluation metric that's provided by uh, Clean Lab, which uh, my colleague John will show you in a second. So I'm going to pass over the floor uh, to my colleague John, and he'll walk through uh, the application and show you some of the bells and whistles that we put together. Great, thank you, Stephen. Uh, let me see. Uh, hopefully my screen is being shared. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, okay. So here's our application. It's deployed up in Hugging Face Spaces. Uh, I have some uh, queries already queued up since we didn't, we forgot to pray to the demo day gods. Uh, so we can ask it a question about corruption here, like how South Korea has used technology to fight corruption in a uh, public procurement of funds. And it gives a result here. You can see it's talking about a system that they launched, increased transparency. Uh, and then we also have uh, the sources for this information, which you can click through and review. Uh, we also have these, um, these some icons to give the model feedback and if you say that this, and then you can give it written feedback and it will use this to further enhance its performance. So we also have another query here, like how do islands, islands of integrity emerge in corrupt environments? Gives a summarization of what it found based on the sources. And then we also have this button here that you can click. So it, about, it evaluates the, uh, the response of the model using a using clean lab so it's making sure that the model is not hallucinating it's not just making up things you can ask you it's making sure that this is an answer that is something that it seems can be trusted uh given the the sources in the context so uh i think that's i think that's it cool i'll pass back to stephen to finish the uh finish the presentation. Okay, so uh, in summary, um, this is what our LLM uh, tech stack looks like. Um, we have the conventional pine cone vector DB, as uh, Chris and Greg said, it's good, it's good, it works, does the does the job, right? We have, uh, we used um, LangChain to help uh, orchestrate that uh, RAG pipeline. Uh, we have our, our chat LLM model that works in between uh, with the chain lit user interface. My favorite part uh, of all of this is that you can go two routes with a given answer. You can provide uh, feedback, thumbs up, thumbs down, leave a comment that you love or hate the answer and it'll go back to the Chainlit cloud, which we can um, use to evaluate and post-process and try to refine some of the, um, you know, some of the quirks that that happen with the, this pipeline. Or we can use the the Clean Lab uh, evaluation metric, which uh, we hope can um, thirty-five help, help give uh, give trust uh, to to the user. So. Lastly, in conclusion, we hope that this provides a wealth of expert knowledge uh, for, you know, at your fingertips for anybody, uh, regardless of uh, your knowledge of the subject matter. We hope that it simplifies the complex task of identifying uh, remediation efforts. And we hope that this is an indi indispensable asset for government nonprofits, researchers, and activists uh, to promote accountability in society. Thank you.
Thank you.